Fly in that direction and good. Holy! Morris Slavic with a 46 yarder. And Michigan State has gone ahead of Michigan now 13 to 7. With 8.08 remaining here in this second quarter. Here comes Slavic's kickoff. Another high. Kick this time not quite so long. Fielded by Henry at the 8. Coming to the 10, the 15, the 20, to the 25. And is rustled out of 26-yard line. Brad Van Pelt. The first to meet him for Michigan State. Down Michigan State now. That's the second time they have really put a gang tackle effort on Preston Henry. He has been doubting again from just over its own 26-yard line. Strobel wide to the right side. Dowdy set of the slot. A handoff is given to Taylor straight up the middle. Close to the 30-yard line. Middle of that... Michigan State defensive line, led by Dwayne McLaughlin. If Michigan should fall behind too far. Paul Stroba is the wide man right side. On the counter, it's given off to Dowdy. Finds a hole up the middle to the 35, to the 40, to the 45. He may roll on everybody. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. And he's knocked down on a necktie tackle at the last moment by Harold Phillips. Down on the Michigan State. Let's see where they spot it. It'll be in the neighborhood of the 19, the 17 yard line, they say. The counterplay that time to Glenn Dowdy, who had lined up in the wing to the right side. The fake went to Taylor going to the right with all of the motion going right. And then coming back to the left side was Glenn Dowdy. And once he spun his way over the middle, got in the open, he started to put on the speed. And Harold Phillips, who can run a pretty quick 102, was the only man with a chance to catch him. And he did first and 10 at the Spartan 17-yard line. Morehead gives it off to his fullback Cypher, and he bangs down to the 13-yard line. Doug Barr holding on to him, along with Doug Halliday. We've got seven minutes left, and Paul Strova heading out wide to the right side. Glenn Dowdy is seven the wing in the far eye. The pitch out goes to Taylor around the left side to the 10, and he is belted down at the 8-yard line. Brad McClee wrapped him up pretty good, along with Gail Clark, the linebacker. Boy, I tell you, the power eye with Dowdy in the wing to the left. It's given off to Cypher, then straight off the left side he goes. And I don't know, has he got enough for a first down? It's going to be very close. They may have to measure. The officials are waving their arms now, calling for a timeout. Reggie McKenzie was out there trying to wedge a pass for Cypher as they spot the ball, and it appears to be resting just shy of the seven-yard line. The referee down well. The crowd comes to its feet. All 103,000 strong. Moorhead pitches out to Taylor. Cut back at the 7, and he's down to about the 6 for a first down. <laughs> Harold Phillips making the tackle for Michigan State. Time credit. Don Moorhead on a long count. Takes to Cypher, keeps it on the option, and he is hit right around the ankles at the line of scrimmage by Brad McClee. There was a fine defensive play. McCree, uh, McClee came across the line of scrimmage and nailed Moorhead, and Don didn't even have a chance to pitch out. It was Bo Schembechler. It's second down and goal. Fake by Moorhead. Back to pass. He goes. Cocks his arm. Keeps the ball. Rolls down to the four-yard line. The crowd roars, and they thought there was a Michigan State tackler that was a little tardy and uh, jumping on the pile there. And Moorhead is not getting up. Moorhead is not getting up, and now you're going to hear a little bit of uh, crowd reaction. Injured player stay in a ball game. They get him out of there. It is third down and goal. A flag is down. The pitch out goes to Taylor. He turns the corner, gets into the end zone, but let's check the flag. A flag was thrown on the play. Illegal procedure called against Michigan. That is going to nullify the touchdown. Taylor had some good blocking out in front of him on that power sweep around the left side, but Michigan detected well, they have Strobel and Dowdy both to the left side of the eye formation, and Moorhead is going back to pass, gets some time to throw, fires it, it's incomplete, batted away by John Shinsky at the five-yard line. So now it is fourth down, and Dana Coyne is coming into the ballgame for Michigan, and they will try to salvage at least three points out of this drive. Ball is down, kick up, no good, off to the right. Dana Coyne misses the field goal, and the Spartans hold. State at their own 20-yard line. 4-12 to go in the half. Michigan State leading 13-7. to 
And Mihai is bottled up. Mike Taylor broke through there to grab him. Mihai went back again for that quick spot pass and didn't have time to throw it. Tom Beckman grabbed his left arm, and Mihai was spinning. Steve Coe is split to the left side. Bill Triplett comes wide to the right. The Spartans, George Mihai, gives it off to Eric Allen, who bangs his way up close to the 22-yard line. Ed Moore and Tom Beckman combining to stop him. Time thus far in the ball game, Tom Beckman of Michigan has been just outstanding for the Wolverines. He's had several. Second down and eight yards, a uh, third down and eight yards to go. The handoff again is given to Allen, and boy, he runs into a uh, brick wall. Tom Beckman on that right side with Henry Hill and Pete Newell. 15 yard line, double safety for Michigan. Just gets it away. A good rush was on. Bounces at the Michigan 42. Get it up by Darden at the 42, and he is knocked back to the 40. So Michigan will have just 217 in which to put the ball in play and move down the field, so they're going to be into the hurry. Morehead again on the count against the doubt. He finds some room over the middle of the 45, and he's wrestled down at the 50-yard line. Cookton Hardy came over from his cornerback position to knock him down right squarely on the 50-yard line. Tom Dowdy is furious with himself. He went nine. It's second down and one yard to go. Moorhead pitches back to Billy Taylor. Turns the corner at the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35. He's running over people down to the 40 to the 27-yard line. Doug Barr and Wilt Martin combining on the tackle of Billy Martin who started wide around the left side, saw a little daylight over his own left tackle, Jack Harpering, cut back in, and gives Michigan a first and 10 at the Spartan 27. Clock shows a minute and a half to go in the half. Morehead on first down, gives it off in the draw to Taylor, and this time he isn't going to go anywhere. Grabbing onto his ankles with Mike Hogan, the middle guard. Air Force leads Navy 13 and nothing after a half. Army leads Virginia 20 to 14 after I have. Ahead of the line of scrimmage to make it second down and nine yards to go. Moorhead going deep to pass. He's going to have to get rid of it. He does, and it's incomplete. He was belted down from behind by Wilt Martin, who really wrapped him up in a bear hug. Moorhead was looking for Glenn Doughty downfield, but I don't know if even he was going to hit him if he'd had a lot of time to throw, because Doughty was well covered that time. Time for himself. It is third down and nine. Paul Stova is the only wide receiver. He is out to the left side. Moorhead is back to pass. Gets a lot of time. Throws for Stova. He's got him at the 15-yard line. He's pushed back by the tackler, Clifton Hardy. But his progress will be given to the 15, and that'll be a first down for Michigan. Now they're going to be hurrying things up here as Moorhead's going to call for Harvard over Cornell. 14 to 10 at half time. First and 10 to go for Michigan. Moorhead has him up to the line of scrimmage and back to go. He passed. Downfield, it is incomplete, intended for Paul Stroba. At the seven-yard line, hanging on to him was Mark Sokol. Now, Stroba is 6'3", Sokol is 5'10". And Stroba went, and Stroba was looking right into it. Second down and 10 yards to go, 46 seconds to go. Ball resting at the Michigan State 15-yard line in possession of Michigan. Morehead again back to pass, rolls to the right side, fires it again for Stroba. He's got this one, hits his head down, and he's knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. It is again Mark Soko who was over to make the stop on Silva and he's 10. It's first and goal to go for Michigan at the Spartan 2. Morehead pitches back to Taylor. Cuts in and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> Billy Taylor behind Paul Seymour, Reggie McKenzie, and Dan Deardorff wedging it into the end zone to give Michigan a 13-13 tie. And Tim Killian is now into the ball game. Clock shows just 36 seconds remaining. Here's Killian's kick. It is no good. No good. Off to the right. And the score holds at 13 to 13. Early in the season, but today they're not on the money. Here's Coyne's kick. Coming down to Anderson at the 8, comes to the 10 to the 15 to the 20, stays on his feet to the 25, and is knocked down to the 27-yard line. Gary Dutcher, we see, getting off the pile. Bruce Elliott, Ed Moore. 
The Spartans will put it in play at their own 27-yard line. Tremendous advantage for a team to uh, have a threat like that. With 31 seconds to go, Mihai hands it off to Allen, slides over the left side and pushes his way forward up to about the 33-34 yard line. Mike Taylor, the right side linebacker for Michigan, was able to get over and make the stop on it. Michigan State's going to kill the clock with a timeout, so there's a timeout in the field with a score of Michigan State 13, Michigan 13. Second down and three yards to go. They're just shy of their own 34 yard line. Billy Triplett is split to the right side. Gordy Bodell is left. The handoff is given on the halfback draw to Allen. Spins his way free at the 40. Stays on his feet and fights his way up close to the 44. Michigan State has another first down at their own 44-yard line. Clock shows 16 minutes to go. The Spartans kill the clock again with a quick timeout. Here's a couple of quick scores. Maryland 7, South Carolina 7. Incidentally, he hails from Park Ridge, Illinois, the same high school that Pete Newell saw his service for for Michigan. Here is Mihai back to pass. Fires a long one upfield, and it's incomplete intended for Bodell at the 35. He had double coverage on him, and Jimmy Betts and Tom Darden. But overthrew the pass. And with 11 seconds to go, even for Schlappick, I don't believe they're in field goal range. On tap today, both bands ready to take the field. Here's Mihai back to pass. Gets some time. Throws the long one, and it is down to the 10 and just out of the... Reach of Billy Triplett at the 10-yard line. Jimmy Betts and Bruce Elliott were both back working on Triplett. And Mihai had to throw that ball, let's see, about 60, 65 yards in the air. Play of the first half. Randy Davis is heading out wide to the left side. He's replaced Triplett. Steve Coe is split right. As on the draw, it's given to Allen, and he is hit on a fine tackle by Ed Moore right at the 45-yard line before he ever got any momentum going. And that's the last play of the first half, and we have an injured Michigan State player getting up slowly. It's Henry Matthews, the fullback. He's on his feet now and leaving the field, so he could have been shaken up a little bit on that last play. So with the first half now history here at Michigan Stadium, the score, Michigan State 13, Michigan 13. The Michigan team is already... Minute and 92 for the Spartans, and here comes Schlappett, and here comes the kickoff to start the second half. Fielded by Glenn Dowdy at the 6, comes back to the 10 to the 15, to the 20 to the 25, puts his head down, and drives forward to the 26-yard line. Moorhead went to the air 12 times in that first half, completed 7. Gary Parmentier made the stop on Dowdy in that last run back. Mihai... First and ten for the Wolverines at their own 26-yard line. The game tied 13 apiece. The handoff goes to Billy Taylor, who rolls up to the 31-yard line. Mike Hogan spun him around. State did not pick up a penalty in that first half. On second and five, it's given a pull, a big hole over the right side, and he pushes his way up over the 35-yard line, close to a first down. Sokol, Mark Sokol, the sophomore, along with Glenn Dowdy. They have been running like... The touchdown pair that they exhibited last year, the handoff is given off to fullback Fritz Cypress. He bangs his way forward. It looks like he has a first down up to about the 37-yard line he does. First and 10 for Michigan from their own 37-yard line. On the counter, it's given to Dowdy. He finds the hole over the left side, but it closes in a hurry as he scampers up to the 41-yard line. Grabbing him around the ankles was John Shinsky. Big right tackle. Second down and six yards to go. Morehead is rolling off to the left, gives off to, no, fakes to Henry, fires it ahead, it's caught by Dowdy at the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and he is knocked out of bounds, and then Hayward at the 30-yard line by Brad Van Pelt. Morehead with a good fake that time to Preston Henry over the left side, then he drifted back and found Dowdy deep in the Spartan secondary, and Dowdy raced away from the fellow who was on his screens. Paul Strober comes wide to the right side, from the slot is Dowdy, the handoff is given to Taylor up the middle, he goes, and close to the 20 six-yard line. Submarining in there were Doug Barr and Wilt Martin. Paul Stilbert wide to the right side. The pitch out to Taylor has trouble hanging on to it, but grabs a hold of it and takes it over the 25 to the 24-yard line where Dwayne McLaughlin leveled him. Taylor was juggling that ball a little bit as he tried to get possession of it, but finally came up with it. Third and three. Moorhead barks off the signal. Pitches out to Taylor around the left side. Got the 25, cuts back to the 20, and he goes down to the 18, 17-yard line. That'll be a first down for Michigan. And there is an injured Michigan player, Jack Huffering, getting slowly to his feet, and he's going to come out of there. First and 10 to go for Michigan. They're running from the far side of the field, hash mark. 
Moorhead fakes, gives off on the ball to Dowdy, and he bangs his way down close to the 15-yard line. I'm sorry, Billy Taylor, did I say Dowdy? Billy Taylor carrying down to the 15-yard line. John Shimsky. The pitch out goes to Taylor, swings back here to 20, goes down to the 10, and is wrestled uh, about to the 8-yard line. Well, they're going to spot it back at the 10. They say, big third down play again for the Wolverines. Right here. Moorhead pitches out to Taylor, turns the corner at the 10, and gets away from one man, and he's knocked out inside the four. First and goal to go for Michigan. Shimsky and Van Pelt. Combining on the stop, but Taylor was hit back at the 10-yard line and slid away from his tackler. They'll spot it up to four. First and goal to go for Michigan. Glenn Dowdy comes back in the lineup for Michigan. By that time, Taylor Tommy hit Shinsky 220 and Van Pelt. Great effort by Billy Taylor, who has been just tremendous this afternoon. First and goal. The pitch out to Taylor cuts a hole up the two to one. Touchdown, Michigan! Billy Taylor found a gaping hole over the right side and give a lot of credit for that. Those fellows up in the trenches, uh, Werner Hall, Dan Deardorff, Paul Seymour, who really opened one up that day. Will try to up it to 20 to 13. It's up, and this one's good. So with 9.41 remaining in the third quarter, the score, Michigan 20, Michigan State 13. A 74-yard drive by Michigan in 12 plays with Billy Taylor scoring his third touchdown. Team Indiana 14 after a half. Here comes Dana Coyne's kickoff. A long sailing kick. Comes down to the 10-yard line, taken by Anderson, swings wide to the 20. Now gives ground back to the 17, and he's going to be hit right there and drop. Three Michigan men in on him. Mike Keller. Ed Moore. Jimmy Betts. All swarm over him at the 18-yard line they're going to allow. First and 10 to go for Michigan State. The Spartans send Billy Triplett wide to the right side. They flight Steve Coe to the left. George Mihai running the team at quarterback. Fires when it's hit high into the air. And it was almost intercepted by Phil Seymour. He was following Henry Matthews out of the backfield, staying with him in case he was going to swing one out to him. The ball was tripped by a Michigan lineman. I don't know. George Mihai, the sophomore from River Rouge, directing the Spartans at quarterback. He led them all during the first half. Gives it off to Allen, and he is thrown under back at the 15-yard line by Tom Beckman. Bill Seymour also coming in there. Well, they let Allen out on a number of occasions in the first half, and they didn't let him out at all on that one. That's the left here to see if they can uh, find some daylight here in the forward wall of Michigan. Third and 12, Mihai is going back to pass. Archer's one over the middle. It's caught by Triplett. He's cut down at the 37-yard line, but that's enough for a first down. Well, Michigan was looking for the pass. Bruce Elliott and Jimmy Betts made the stop, but Triplett was able to shake himself in between the... Good afternoon. That was a very well-thrown pass. Let me make a correction. I said the 37. I think it's at the 32-yard line. Handoff goes to Allen. He pulls his way up to the 35. Keep Newell. Tackler for Michigan. They'll spot it directly at the 35-yard line. That'll be second down. Mihai has them lined up in the eye. They've stayed that way most of the afternoon as Mihai drops back the pass. Cocks his arm, fires it over the middle. Three seconds by Gardner at the 47, back to the 40. Goes to the 35, and he is knocked down at the 41-yard line of Michigan State. Getting over there to stop Gardner was Mark Charette and Eric Allen. A big interception by Tom Garden, the first of the afternoon for Michigan. And the Michigan offense. In this game for Michigan, that'll give you a little indication of their offense. First and ten now. Warhead on the halfback draw gives it off to Billy Taylor, and he fights his way close to the 27-yard line. Last off the pile.